You're totally welcome to think that I'm a complete weirdo and out in left field when I say that light plays a role in our biochemistry. Blue light is a real thing, and there is a way to block blue light. Now, I'm not here to just explain the basics of it. I wanna help you understand the biochemistry and what's going on, because if you're watching this channel, you're about leveling up. You're about learning how your body responds to things and finding A, loopholes, but B, ways to just live a better life. So let's talk about blue light and why you probably wanna start investing in blocking blue light in one way or another. And at the very least, it's cool science. Please do hit that red subscribe button and then please hit that little bell icon to turn on notifications. Now, you're probably looking at me saying I look like a total dope because I'm wearing glasses today. Well, I think they're kind of cool and I'm gonna to continue to wear them just for the sake of blocking blue light and for the sake of this video. Let's talk science on what blue light is for just a second. In this world, we have visible light and we have non-visible light. Non-visible light, things like UV, UV rays, we don't see, but they burn our skin, right? Infrared light, we don't see, but we sit in infrared saunas, so clearly light is doing something, the light that we can't see, okay? But then we have visible light, which is obviously visible. And within that visible light spectrum, we have what is called blue light. Now, it is super easy to think that blue light is just automatically bad, but blue light is very, very good and very, very important just like food is very, very good and very, very important. But food will make us fat. Blue light in excess can cause some issues too. You see, a sun emits blue light, and it's the job of our cells in our retina to recognize that blue light and say, oh, wow, okay, we can energize this person because it's daytime. Go out and eat, go out and be awake, go out and take over the world. We have pigments in our skin and our retina that just so happen to react the most to blue light. But unfortunately, blue light is also emitted from our devices, from smartphones, from computers, tablets, whatever, you name it. The long story short, as far as the physiology is concerned, is here's what happens. Okay, blue light hits our retina. Okay, our retina has specific receptors and proteins that receive that blue light, and they have a direct line to our central nervous system. And that central nervous system ends up hitting the hypothalamus, which plays, guess what, a big role in our metabolism, a big role in our mood, and a bunch of other things. So let's talk about what blue light can do to your sleep, okay? We have something called melanopsin that is in our retina. Okay, this melanopsin is what specifically receives the blue light. Okay, the blue light comes in, and then it has a direct line to our central nervous system and a direct line to what's called our pineal gland. Okay, the pineal gland, once it receives the blue light signal, shuts off melatonin. Melatonin is what allows us to get tired and fall asleep at night. That's why melatonin goes down during the day. So when our retina receives blue light, we stop producing melatonin. So guess what happens when you're looking at a screen at night? You're not producing melatonin. Cool study that was published in the journal Chronobiology International took a look at a group of people. For one week, it had them follow their normal sleep patterns and normal just rituals. The next week, they had them sit at a computer between 9 and 11 p.m. for just two hours. Well, okay, had an interesting effect. It actually only shortened their sleep by 16 minutes, which actually is quite a bit considering it was only a week, but that's not enough to make me get out of bed. No pun intended, right? Okay. What was really interesting is what it did to the amount of awakenings that they had during the night. Okay, baseline, they only woke up between like four and four and a half times on average. Okay, but if they had blue light exposure, they were waking up 6.7 to 7.6 times per night. So we're having like a 70, 80% increase in how much you wake up throughout the night. That has a huge impact on your overall sleep quality. But even more so than that, the part that intrigued me about this study was that it found that on average, the circadian rhythm after just one week shifted a full three hours. So visualize this. You have been watching my videos, you've been busting your buns, trying to find the best way to time your meals with your circadian rhythm and do all, you're doing all these things, right? Just to find that literally one week of blue light exposure can change your whole circadian rhythm by up to three hours throwing a wrench in all the work that you've been putting into things. That's how big of an impact it can have. Now next, I wanna talk about the impact on metabolic health. And this is just touching the surface, okay? Because I talk about red light all the time and how red light's beneficial, but I never really talk about blue light in the metabolism. But before I go into that, I'll go ahead and make a mention of the brand that I'm wearing. I'm wearing Blue Blocks. And the reason that I've chosen Blue Blocks is because they have a few different varieties. For one, they have the blue light version, which doesn't have amber colored lenses, doesn't have red colored lenses. They look cool. You can wear them when you're in front of your computer and they're going to block between 400 and 495 nanometers, that specific wavelength 
that's causing an issue with your screen. Okay, so you can wear these, but they also have ones that have red lenses too, that cast a little bit of a red effect that block 100% of the blue and green light. So they're designed to be worn at nighttime, like two to three hours before you go to bed, and therefore ultimately promote melatonin production. Then they also have ones that are yellow lenses, and you put those on during the day because they block out the excess blue light, but they allow the good blue light to still come in and energize you. Because remember, we want the energizing blue light, we just don't want so much blue light that is affecting us negatively. So I put a link down below, they are a supporter of this channel, but they are by far the best blue light blocking glasses out there that I've found because of the wide variety that they have and because of the cool styles. So use that link down below in the description and get yourself a pair. Check them out, trust me, wear them whenever you want, wear them all the time. Now, let's move in to the next piece, the metabolic health. Now, I'm gonna start with a study that was published in the Occupational and Environmental Medicine Journal. Took a look at 55,000 nurses. This is a big study. And it found that there was a very strong association with nurses that were working more night shifts, working more overnight, being more overweight. Okay, now correlation doesn't always equal causation. I know, I know, I know. But when you look at nurses that are shifting their work to nighttime and you're seeing this progressive change in their metabolism and instances of obesity, it's pretty clear. Okay, and we can kind of understand that, yeah, when the body's thrown for a loop like that, it's probably gonna react in a weird way. Well, remember that melanopsin that I talked about that's in your retina? Well, that melanopsin receives the blue light. Maybe it's coming from fluorescent lights because you're uh, working in a hospital at night. Well, guess what? It signals to the pineal gland and it signals to the hypothalamus to amp up. Well, guess what? The hypothalamus is also responsible for receiving the leptin and ghrelin signal. So what that means is leptin is a hormone that signals to the brain that you have plenty of fat on hand and that the metabolism can rev up. So if that signal is impaired and thrown off, your body's not gonna be able to metabolize as well. It's not gonna burn fat as well. And if the signal is skewed for ghrelin, it's gonna make you hungry. So yeah, have you ever wondered why you get the munchies late at night when you're working on a computer or you're cramming for an exam? Yeah, because you have a lot of blue light impacting your hypothalamus, skewing your ghrelin and leptin signals. This clearly has an effect on your metabolism. Now, then we could dive a little bit further. Blue light probably absorbs through our skin too. In fact, we know it does, but at least as far as what's coming in through our eyes, we can see that there is an effect on the pancreatic cells, pancreatic islet cells and also beta cells, okay? This is what produces insulin. So it turns out that it has a negative effect on how our pancreas produces insulin, thereby potentially increasing the risk of type two diabetes and insulin resistance. I'm not saying that you absorb some blue light from your phone and you're automatically going to get that. Point is, our bodies are receiving some kind of signal. We're not supposed to be eating at night. We're supposed to be asleep, right? So if we're supposed to be asleep at this point in time, we have a bombardment of blue light, well, what is that doing to our pancreas? Our pancreas needs a break too. Okay, so huge effects on the metabolism and that's just scratching the surface. But then it begs the question, does blocking blue light actually work? I mean, the best answer for anything would be to reduce your exposure to blue light, by all means. Okay, at night, you should limit your screen time. You shouldn't be chilling out watching two hours of TV or scrolling your phone. It's just not the best thing to do. Okay, we also need to be making sure we're balancing the blue light that we're getting with good red light and yellow light from the sun and getting outside and establishing that rhythm. But there's science that does show that at least using blue blocking glasses does work. The Journal of Pineal Research did an interesting study and they found that wearing blue blocking glasses in a particular instance ended up making it so that there was just as much melatonin production as if the people were sitting in a dark room. Okay, blue blocking glasses do work. They do filter out the blue light. It's just really cool to be able to finely tune your body and almost biohack your way into finding the ideal situation. So anyway, keep it locked in on my channel and please do check out Blue Blocks down below in the description. There's a special link and I'll see you tomorrow.